Hi, good evening everybody. Tom Brokaw here and uh, this uh, is a geometry review for a test on chapter one. Let's begin. Okay, let's first uh, do the board problem. Okay, so use the points A3, negative 8, B1, comma 2 to find the midpoint of segment AB and the length of AB. Okay, this says segment AB and this with nothing on top of it means the length. So I'm going to use midpoint formula and distance formula. There they are. And if you do it correctly, those are the correct answers that you'll get. Okay, so let's review for this. Okay, uh, names of polygons. I have not discussed this with you yet, so this will be on your test, you guys. Um, number of sides determines the name. So a three-sided, everybody knows, is a triangle. Four-sided is a quadrilateral. Five is pentagon. Six is he uh, hexagon. Seven is heptagon. Then octagon, nonagon, decagon. Um, for an 11-sided, there is no name, so they just call it an 11-gon. And 12 is dodecagon, okay? Anything after that is called an n-gon. So if you had like 15 sides, it'd be a 15-gon, all right? All right, so here we go. looks like we have plane P right there, all right? And then so we got uh, line M or line DC going through plane P. And then I got another line, or, oops, point F is in there. There's another line right there. Okay, so give another line, uh, name for line CD. Okay, you can, you can just reverse them and say line uh, DC uh, or this lowercase letter line M. Okay, all right. Uh, name three collinear points. Okay, uh, A, C, and B are all on line L, so they are collinear. All right, uh, name three. Uh, non-collinear points. Okay, there's all kinds of non-collinear points. I'm probably going to choose, I like A, C, and F because they're not on the same line. But there's all kinds of non-collinear points. If, as long as you include D or F with one of them, you guys, uh, those are non-collinear. Okay, uh, are points F, A, and D coplanar? Well, at first glance, they're not, but they're any three points, you guys, any three points, there is an invisible plane that contains these three points. I don't know if you can see it. It's an invisible plane that's slicing down right there. So are they coplanar? Yes, you just might not be able to see it, but yes, they are coplanar. Any three points, whether they're collinear or non-collinear, they are coplanar no matter what. Okay, find uh, HJ. I'm going to let it be X, and then so we should get 9 on that. Okay, so EF has endpoints 1, 4. And 3, 2, find uh, the length of EF and find the midpoint. Okay, this is just like our board problem. You're going to use your, uh, your distance formula and your midpoint formula. There's the distance, 2 root 2, and then the midpoint should get you uh, 2, 3. Okay, so uh, the measure of angle YXZ is 60. So here's YX, uh, I'm sorry, XV. The whole angle is 60 right there. And then so I'm going to use angle addition postulate. This angle plus this angle equals 60. Okay, the angle addition postulate. All right, so we get uh, x equals 12, and then we've got to plug 12 into each one of those, and you should get 35 and 25. And notice they add up to 60. Okay, uh, let's see. Find the supplement and complement. Supplement means 180. Complement means 90 of 37. So I just take them away from 180 for the supplement and from 90 for the complement. All right, the midpoint of AB is 9, comma 7. One endpoint is 3, 9. Find the coordinates of uh, the other endpoint. Okay, we did this on section 1, 3. Okay, so I just let that midpoint, 9, 7, equal to these two guys right here. Okay, then this 3 plus x over 2 represents the 9, and the 9 plus y over 2 represents the 7. Okay, so uh, when we solve, we should get 15, comma 5. All right, so line L bisects means it goes through the midpoint at point M. Okay, CM equals 4X and MD equals uh, 48. Find CD. Okay, well, there's two ways to do it, you guys. One way is to set them equal to each other and solve for X. But, man, you don't need to do that, you guys. You already know the length of one piece is 48, so the whole length is going to be twice that, which is going to be 96. Okay, name uh, the linear pairs, so the angles that are linear pairs, so it makes a straight line, so 1 and 4 makes this straight line, 4 and 2 makes this straight line, 2 and 3 makes another straight line, Under it's the same straight line as 1 and 4, and then 3 and 1, they're all linear pairs because they make up straight angles, and then vertical angles are the ones that directly across from each other, 4 and 3 are vertical, 1 and 2 are vertical, okay, so um, uh, there's the answers right there. All right, looks like I have some petty cash coming in. Hooray! 
Uh, okay, I had to buy a printer cartridge, and so I'm getting my, my money back. Okay, so find the values of x and y on this. Okay, I have two straight lines. Remember, lines are always 180. I'm going to use this line first right there to get because those guys both have x's involved, so I'm going to add those up to be 180, and I get x equals 13. Then I'm going to use the other line over there for another 180, so 5x plus 5y is 180. Don't forget, x is 13, and so when you plug it in, you should finally get y equals... Uh, y equals 23, okay? And uh, that's a good review for your test, and then here would be your homework for my classes.